It's not happened since January 20, 2019, but the wait of over two years ends on May 26, 2021 when a brief total lunar eclipse comes to North America and the Pacific Rim. Known colloquially as a blood moon, despite an eclipsed moon actually appearing a reddish copper color, it's an event not to be missed if you happen to be on the night side of Earth at the right time. Here are seven things you didn't know about next week's Superflower Blood Moon Eclipse to help you better experience this rare event. It's time for a Superflower Blood Moon Eclipse. Say what? The full moon on May 26, 2021, is going to be the biggest of the year because it occurs while our satellite is at the closest point to Earth in its slightly elliptical monthly orbit. That's called perigee, and a few hours before the eclipse the moon will actually be the closest it gets to Earth this year, 222,022 miles, 357,311 kilometers. To the keen-eyed observer the moon will appear to be about 8% larger than an average-sized full moon. The flower moon part. That comes from the traditional name for May's full moon. The eclipse itself is purely a visual event but the supermoon nature of the moon's position will mean a very high and very low perigee and spring tide, aka a king tide, so brings the threat of flooding to coastal areas. That's particularly important because, as this map shows, the entirety of this eclipse will be visible only to those around the Pacific Rim, from the west coast of the US to the South Pacific, New Zealand, Australia and Eastern Asia. From the US, notably in Los Angeles and San Francisco, the event happens close to moonset in the western sky during the early hours, so it will hang rather low on the horizon, while in East Asia, including in Hong Kong and Singapore, the full moon will be eclipsed just after moonrise in the east. From Hawaii the blood moon will appear to be high up in the darkest skies of the middle of the night. A total lunar eclipse occurs when a full moon passes through Earth's 870,000 miles, 1.4 million kilometers long shadow in space. That happens just occasionally, and it can take anywhere from 105 minutes, like in 2018, to just 5 minutes, like in 2015. On May 26, 2021 it will last for just 14 minutes and 30 seconds, not far off that minimum because instead of traveling through the center of Earth's shadow it will pass through its northern part, just 21 miles, 34 kilometers, from its outer edge. Consequently the moon's northern limb is predicted to be rather bright during totality. During the eclipse the moon will be in the constellation of Scorpius, and about 5 degrees from an enormous star called Antares. The 15th brightest star in the night sky and unmistakably reddish when viewed with the naked eye, Antares, which means rival of Mars, is 600 light years away about 700 times larger than the Sun. Go outside during a full moon and try to find the Milky Way. It's really difficult even if you're standing beneath clear, dark sky.